Hello, it is 5.30 and I'm going to Barnes & Noble right now to shop for books. I've never really been to Barnes & Noble. This might be a lie. I don't remember going to Barnes & Noble like specifically at night, but I wanted to go. And also just because traffic honestly is the main reason because it gets really trafficy. I'm going specifically for The Stolen Air, which was released yesterday and I couldn't leave the house yesterday. So now I'm going to Barnes & Noble and we're gonna go get The Stolen Air. And a few other books that I want to get. Let's go. Where do I put these? Oh, no. Nice. I moved the steering wheel. Did this view. Just went to Starbucks and got my decaf peppermint mocha with two pumps of mocha and oat milk. It's so good. It's my favorite thing ever. Not ever, but at Starbucks. I'm about to drive over to Barnes & Noble and drink my drink while I search for books. I have to hurry up though because it's 6.47 and I somehow forgot all day that I have to pick up a prescription. And the thing supposedly closes at 9. I'm hoping it actually closes at 9 and not earlier. So I need to be headed back by like 8 o'clock and it's already 6.47. So I think I have a good amount of time, but I need to get that today. I really need to get that today. I don't know why I'm like already seat belted up. I have been reading a series on my Kindle. It's, I can't remember what the series as a whole is called. Oh, it's called the Mindfuck series. And it's literally about a serial killer and the FBI agent that is on her case falling in love. And it's wild. But I read the first half of the first book like a while ago and I just kind of gave up and stopped because it was not hooking me. I wasn't really interested. On December 31st, I needed to read one more book to reach my Goodreads goal. So I was like, oh, there's like 60 pages of this book left. Let me fly through and read the rest of this book real quick. And I did, and it kind of started to get interesting. And I was like, the next book's only like 90 pages. Let me just read these 90 pages real quick. And then the end of the second book got good. And I was like, okay, I need to know what the fuck's happening. I'm now in the fourth book. I'm in between like not... Like, I really want to know what happens and I want to read it, but I also feel like it's easy to put it down. Besides, like, the end of the, or the beginning of the third book, that was the only part where I was like, I cannot put this down. I think it's just because it's, like, a heavy, like, book, like, heavy topics that they're talking about. So it's, like, I can put it down easily because I'm like, oh, this is a lot. Like, I want to know what's going on and what's happening, but it's a lot. But it's really good and it's, I love a quick read. I already set my Goodreads goal for this year and I put it at 40. So I'm thinking if I set a goal per month, it'll be way easier for me to like stay on track and like reach a higher goal. So I'm trying to do four books a month, minimum. I've already read uh. two books so far and it's literally January 4th. But that only reason for that is because of this series that's like so, every book's like 120 pages, 90 pages, you know. I need to know if they are gonna end up together. So I just got done at Barnes and Noble and there were a lot of people in there. That's like the most people I've seen at this Barnes and Noble. I was thinking that like later in the night it would be less people. That's one of the reasons I came later. A lot. So I filmed my phone in there because it was a lot of people walking by and it was really 
awkward. Also, I feel like my coffee was not decaf because I'm feeling it. I'm gonna show you what I got. I got two books. I'm really excited because they had The Stolen Air, which is what I went there for. The Cruel Prince is literally one of my favorite series, is my favorite series ever. It's the series that got me back into reading and it's just so good. I love that series with my whole heart and those characters and I want to reread it soon, but I'm so excited for this fucking book. It's Oak's like story. I cannot wait. I think it's gonna be two books. This is the exclusive like Barnes and Noble edition. I don't really care about matching books, really, honestly. I have The Wicked King, I think, as a exclusive edition, and then the other ones are just not, I don't, I don't know. It was $20.99. Also, I got this book that I have seen people talk about. It's called Happenstance, and it's by Tessa Bailey. I've read, didn't she write It Happened One Summer? I'm pretty sure she did. I listened to that book on audiobook and was not the biggest fan. There was just, I don't think I liked the characters. That was like the main thing. So I'm hoping this is better. It wasn't a horrible book. Like it was good. It just wasn't good, good. This is a reverse harem. And I love me a, a reverse harem. Let me tell you that. The girl that was checking me out, she like scanned this and like put it down and was like really looking at it like, I'm like, girl. I know she saw them, those three shirts and the one dress and she was like, what are you reading? Like I wonder if she was like, ooh, let me get that book. Or if she was like, what the fuck is this girl kidding? I'm excited for this. I literally opened it in the store and flipped it somehow to a page that was very rated R. I almost got, I think it's called A Ruin of Roses. I was like, I don't know if I should get it. So I like went on Goodreads and some of the top reviews were like, this book was bad. So I didn't get it. I probably still will eventually. I just don't think I'm in the mood for that type of book right now. Like I kind of just want like cute YA fantasy or like spicy rom-com. That's what I'm kind of lean in between right now not really like a dark romance or like a super dark fantasy this book kind of reminds me of faking with benefits which i read by lily gold i think loved that book great 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 book recommend if you like these kind of books it's 7:51, so i think i need to go get my prescription also one last thing the Cruel Prince. I keep saying the Cruel Prince series because it's easier. The Folk of Air series has a limited edition set by Lit Crate, I think it's called. And I didn't know that they had this until after it was already sold out. And I'm so sad because it's the, pr it's the prettiest book set I've ever seen in my entire life. And it was $180. But I would do it. I'm gonna be honest. Do I have that? No. Am I? Would I do it? Yes. Um, I signed up for the wait list. I'm hoping that I get an email because I need that in my life and I want it in my life. There's like art work in it and there's annotations from the author and it's the prettiest thing and it's my favorite series ever and I just need that. Okay, I'm gonna drive home now because I'm talking too much. I'm excited. I'm just gonna show you everything that I got today. I'm currently eating this mush, ready to eat apple, cinnamon, oats. They're really good. I was really hungry. First thing that we got besides Barnes & Noble. Can you see my information on this? Got my prescription. Antibiotics, because I do have a UTI. Hopefully this will heal me and I'll be good. I need to take these immediately, immediately. I actually have to eat, take it with food, so I'm gonna take it when I'm eating more. I also got an Amazon package. I literally ordered this and it came the next morning, which is I think the fastest I've ever gotten an Amazon package. First thing I got not book related, I got this Revlon hair blow dry, blow out thing. And I want to see if it will straighten my hair, blow dry it easier than I'm used to. Anyways, on to books. That's what we're here for. I'm actually really excited for this. I got Uprooted by Naomi Novik. The per actually, the person that recommended Cruel Prince to me recommended this book. I knew I needed to read it because, like, The Cruel Prince is great. I just haven't felt that. And they said this book made them feel how they felt when they read that series so i'm excited i this is a standalone like 99 percent sure the words are kind of small also last thing really quick i got this gift for my friend for christmas it's january 4th we haven't seen each other for like two months but i got her this artwork off of etsy and it's are you joking it's Feyre and Pretty sure it's pronounced Ricened, but I say Recent, but it's, I think it's Ricened. Fair and Recent. Fair and Recent. Fair and Recent. 
looks like a beautiful piece of art and I want to get one for myself. It's a little yellow. I feel like I have a yellow tint. Oh my gosh. It's by a lemon leaf art on Instagram and Etsy. If you just search up search up Akatar art, I'm, this is like one of the top ones that come up and it's so pretty and I want to get one for myself. Okay, well, that's it for this book vlog. I had fun and I got the books I wanted. Hope you enjoyed going to Barnes and Noble with me. I'm gonna eat and take my antibiotics before I perish. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.